69.5 TV. Welcome to the show, The Real. LeVar Ball. That motherfucker is crazy. If you don't know black fathers, you're going to know black fathers. That motherfucker just talk shit. He don't know what the fuck he's saying. He's just talking shit. That's what he does. He says he's better than Jordan. He's the type of father, if the car broke down, he's going to tell you it's the alternator. And he don't know what the fuck going on with it, but he know it's the alternator. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell LeVar nothing. He one of them old school dudes. You know what I'm saying? You cut the grass, I can cut the grass better than you. You work hard, I work harder. You know what I'm saying? He that type of guy. Lonzo Ball has a great father. And he's a great influence on him. If people don't understand a black father, that's how black fathers are. They talk a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? My granddad used to talk shit. I mean, he used to tell me about you don't need to be hanging with all them boys. You need to be with a girl. You know what I'm saying? He get to worry about you if you ain't hanging with no girl. You know what I'm saying? So my granddaddy was. And LaVar Le- Ball is that dude. He's a shit talker. He's a big shit talker. He believe in his son. And he's speaking in his sisters. You can tell he read the Bible too. Because if you notice the way he talk, he don't curse a lot. He just talk a lot of shit. He don't curse or nothing. But he said you got to speak that in existence. And he mean it. He's a big trash talker and... I wouldn't have it any other way. That's just him running his mouth. You know what I mean? So people don't need to take it serious. People take it a lot serious, but he's just he's just talking crap. But he did go too far with the white boy comments. Like, goddamn, three white boys came ball. Like, uh, like you don't see Kevin Love, uh, Chandler Parsons, and uh, uh, Gordon Hayward that uh, was leading the Jazz. I mean, I haven't seen a white guy lead a team in a long time, and Gordon Hayward doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He's balling. I mean, he a dunk on you too. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you went too far with the white comments. Man. You gotta, you gotta chill. Somebody need to give him some coaching because he's from the hood. You can tell Levar Ball is from the hood. He's from straight out of Compton. He's, he's acting like he never left the block. You know what I'm saying? That's just how he is, man. He ain't gonna change nothing. I don't know why people are trying to change him. You can't change the person he is, man. He's been talking crap like this for a long time. He ain't gonna stop. <laughs> LeVar Ball, see, every time I see him on TV, he's entertaining. I mean, I seen him on First Take. I seen him on Undisputed. And that big ball of brand. Mark my word, in five years, big ball of brand is going to be the biggest thing out. It's going to be the biggest thing out. And they ain't going to have their own shoes. They ain't going to be with nobody. He know what he's doing. LeVar Ball is a hustler. LeVar Ball is going to be the new Master P of the NBA. He's going to be signed to players. Left or right to the big ball of Brandon. You watch and see. They laughing at him right now. But he ain't going to be no joke. He believe in what he say. And he say what he mean. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect the man that's doing that out there. Because you ain't got too many men out here. And that's a man and that's a father. And Lonzo Ball is the same way. He's just quiet. He's going to handle his business on the court. And I don't think he's going to have a problem with uh, transitioning to the NBA style of play. I think he's going to go to the Sixers or the Lakers. If he goes to the Sixers, him and Simmons and uh, Joel and Bean, they're going to build up a big three, and they're going to be very dangerous. I think Okafor going to get traded to the Lakers, and if he don't to the Lakers, he's going to have a good shot with that young core. They're going to put Russell at the two, and he's going to run the one because he's a pure point guard. He sees things before it happened. He sees the floor. He's going to get everybody's open. That's what kind of player he is. Uh, Markel Folks, he's going to go to Boston, and Boston's going to be real dangerous next year. Boston got to stay too. With him and Isaiah Thomas in the backcourt, that could transition to a dangerous, a dangerous team, which they are already dangerous, but they still don't have enough players yet to compete with Cleveland because you seen it the other day when Cleveland got blowed out. Oh, man, this is crazy. LeVar Ball, he's just a black father that talks a lot of shit, so people don't need to mind him, and I don't think he's going to have no problem in the business world. This man already sees the play, and the, the daddy's going to handle it off court, and Alonzo Ball going to handle it on court. LaMelo's going to be a superstar. I don't know about LiAngelo. I don't think he's going to be a superstar. I think he's going to be a nice role player. He's going to make some decent money, but he's not going to be no superstar. He's he's not like Alonzo Ball. Alonzo Ball is athletic, and He's very skillful, and he can he can he, he can pose his will on the game without scoring. He can get other players involved. So, uh, welcome to today's show, the real. And I'm just giving you a short topic on uh, Levar Ball. He's just talking shit, y'all. Holla.